Welcome, 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 and welcome to D Essence. I'm your boy, D, D Rock, D underscore rapper unique, <laughs> or his regular or divine. I want to thank you for being here. Um, this is going to be world number two. Um, I want to say, I want to take a special time to thank everybody who watched the first episode. I want to thank everybody for all the comments, the shares on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Yeah, it just kind of was like overwhelming at first, but wow, I connected with all these, with so many people. Uh, I didn't expect everybody to say what they said, such kind words and everything. So I want to thank, thank you for that. Show me some love, motherfucker, show me some love. Shout out to my mom and dad for, for one. Thank you for watching, mom and dad. <laughs> my mom was like, what she said? My mom was like, yo, we're gonna be inspirational people. You know what I'm saying? So that that really that really did something to think about. But um yeah, this this episode I wanna talk about the diving part. But before I get to that, let's do the weighing. So boom. Last time I spoke to y'all, I sat with down 30 pounds and I weighed uh, originally a month ago, 426. Last time I weighed myself uh, 396. Yep. So when I went to the um, weighing on Thursday, I came in at 392. So that's four more pounds, four more pounds knocked off. Salute to that. Yep. Woo, woo, what a blessing, what a blessing. Uh, God is good. <laughs> four more pounds knocked off. Salute to that. So good you gotta say it twice. But um yeah, so let's start with um what I usually do every day. So when I wake up in the morning, I usually jump in take the multivitamins because with this low calorie diet that I'm on, you're um, you're missing out on a lot of uh, carbs and nutrition and all that. So we're gonna take this every day to speed up the metabolism and everything. And then for breakfast, it's easy. If I don't have like a hard, like two hard boiled eggs, pause, I usually do the farm life joint and this right here, This right here, it don't even taste like it's supposed to be healthy. It's like, it's got the 60% protein, which you need. And I, and again, I'm on an 800 calorie diet to lose more weight quicker um, before the surgery. So this is 160 calories right there. That one is banging. It's 60% protein, which you need for the muscle, to keep the muscle while you're shedding. Or I do the Premier Protein one. There's like tons of flavors with this one. This one, the chocolate one's banging. And the cake batter one, yo. It tastes like a cake for real, it's wild, crazy. But those two, I usually drink that in the morning, like around eight on my way to work. And um, I drink water right behind it, just so I can fill my stuff up quicker. Then like probably like around 10 o'clock, 9.30, you boy you're getting hungry. Um, I usually get like the Greek yogurt, which has been a good, a good, good, good snack to choose from. Like the Greek yogurt is about 80%, it's, 80, it's only 90 calories. And it's about like 60% protein as well. So you get, you're definitely getting your protein in whenever, that's what you wanna to try to do when you're on a low calorie diet is protein, protein, protein. And then if you wanna, you know, spice up your drinks besides drinking water, I, I do these right here. It's also like, you also can do crystal light too, you know what I mean? But you wanna make sure it's low calories so like you're not putting in extra unwanted calories. These is like, peach tea, half and half, green tea, which is good for you. And then the lemon, regular lemon tea. You put those in your waters and you want to drink those. If you want some flavor for without pause, without drinking soda, because soda's a no-no. So um, anything with that um, with that fizz and, the, and all that, nah, carbonated drinks is a no-no. You can't do that while you're on the, while you're even after the surgery, because you don't want your, your stomach to expand, you want to keep it small how it is after the surgery. Carbonated drinks just makes it expand, so you don't want that. And then, um, lastly, for snacks, which is kind of crazy, I usually do this after lunch. Lunch time, I usually do like a salad with a protein, so any kind of greens with a uh, lunch meat. So you, you, just, you can do bologna, I don't know, who's still, who, who still eat bologna? That's crazy in 2023. But normally I do turkey, ham, it's 
salami, pepperoni, stuff like that, just to get the protein in. And then for the, the last snack after lunch, probably like around three, be surprised. You know what I mean? The beef jerky cost. Like that right there, I ain't saying no Slim Jim either. We ain't even doing the Randy Savage drink. Right? But this drink right here, it packs mad pulse. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm gonna keep it. Packs mad protein. That's what you need. It's only 100 calories. So, all the meals, if you calculated them up, you're still under like four, you're still under 600 calories. And then for your dinner, you wanna do the chicken or tuna. You can do steak sometimes, sometimes, but I mean, we kind of want to stay away from the from the red meat. But um, either that with um with the vegetable, so a spinach or a broccoli, some green. You want to do that way, and that's it. It's just mad boring, but it is what it is. It was two classes I had to take on Zoom. It was a nutrition one, and then a life before and after surgery. Those things is. Brutal, yo, sitting there watching the Zoom with other people in the room watching. People have mad random questions. I'm like, yo, we can answer half these questions online, but you know, people gonna be curious. But but yeah, so the so the Zoom videos I had to watch were basically they basically broke down what you can and cannot have prior to surgery and what you won't be able to have ever again after surgery. So it's very very educational, like you know what can cause your stomach to expand, what can cause the surgery to not do well if you're not eating proper foods. Like, before the surgery, two weeks before the surgery, you gotta go on a liquid diet. That's gonna be crazy. So, just like water, smoothies, and that's it. It's soup, you know what I'm saying? But they do that to make your um, liver get smaller, so they're able to maneuver around in there to do the surgery quicker. So, it's all in good, in good theory, you know? But, um. I did want to take the time out to, to um, I don't want to say apologize, but like just let people know like when somebody's on like a journey like this, they're gonna say no to events. So I just wanted to say that like there's times when I'm invited to like to go out to eat, to go to a party, go to a show, stuff like that. It's like yo, I'm not saying no because I don't want to go. I'm just saying no because I'm focused on me right now, being selfish with me. You gotta be selfish with yourself in order to, you know, see, you know, do the, you got, basically, you gotta be selfish with yourself if you see an angle. And I see an angle where I wanna meet. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I'm with it like. So I don't go out places where I'm gonna be tempted. Now, granted, I have, a, I have strong will, but I just want to put myself in that predicament, you know what I'm saying? So, that's the type of time I'm on. I tried to get the video for the last win, but the nurse deleted the... I gave her the phone, she pressed the wrong button, we didn't get no footage, I was so mad after the fact. So, next week I'm going to try to do the whole scene of me walking in and all that, to get the actual footage and all that. I want to show y'all, so pray to God next week that we get everything caught on. The phone and all that, but um, like, subscribe, hit me in the comments with any questions. You have a blessed day.